was a black screw presented it to him, you know, and that's what it said, you know. That he was a freestyle king. Yeah. We blow in though. I might be on Jay Leno. They be like flip. Yeah, you know, so we all feel like we freestyle kings. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Of course. You know. Yeah, so it, it wasn't like you just, you know, uh, the perception of I'm crowning Lil Flip the freestyle king. Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. You know, you, you, people don't realize what's going on down here in Texas. What's really going down. Yeah. And when, when you, I, I look at y'all, man, and I hear Botany Boys, and I ain't gonna lie to you, I hear Clover, and I and I think about Lil Flip. He came, what, did he come, he came after y'all was over there. Yeah. He was younger. Yeah, he was young. He was, um, he, he, went, he went to school with Cino, little brother. Okay, and he called himself, he said DJ Screw gave him the plaque. Yeah. He was a freestyle king. Flipper, the leprechaun, aka the freestyle king. Yeah. Did you did you witness that part of it, or did you is this something that you knew everybody knew this, or what? What explain that to me from your perspective? I mean, um, it was a black screw presented it to him, you know, and that's what it said, you know. That he was a freestyle king. Yeah. We blow in though. I might be on Jay Leno. They be like flip. Yeah, you know, so we all feel like we freestyle kings. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Of course. You know. Yeah, so it, it wasn't like you just, you know, uh, the perception of I'm crowning Lil Flip the freestyle king. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Everybody freestyle from Pokey. Key ESG. Some hard you know niggas in there. Yeah, so, you know, everybody going to feel like, you should feel like you're the hardest, you know? You're the saying? hardest, so, yeah. But him, like, presenting it to Flip, like, I just said, oh, he's just a freestyle king. Like, he's a rap harder than everybody, you know? See, yeah. I always wondered yeah, how so. he came up with that because everybody keep calling no, him No, no, just And so. ESG, he be like, yeah, he might be the ESG. Right, well, I was going to get to that, you, you know, because we got to bring this in there. He did say that on my show. He said that Lil Flip is the freestyle king, but he's the freestyle god. Kiki and, and Flip are freestyle kings. ESG is a freestyle god. <laughs> That's how you put it. <laughs> you know, they're my dogs. They're my dogs. They freestyle kings. They the kings. I'm a freestyle god. I've been watching you freestyle wait, wait, for a long time, what, bro. What make you a freestyle god? Give us the... I want to hear the in-depth why. I mean, for example, Southside Still Holding, that was no pen and pay. Southside Still Holding. No pen and pay. No pay. Straight through freestyle. See, I can freestyle verses. I can freestyle. Some of my songs is just straight freestyle. You feel me? But I go on stage and still freestyle. See, a lot of people be thinking about when people be freestyling and saying all these metaphors and everything is freestyle, but that shit you got made up in your head. You was talking about how funny he is. Because <laughs> he's, uh, he, he's funny. And he gave us a whole rap about the whole situation. He was there. He'd talk about that camera. He'd talk about her. He'd talk about you. It's metaphors and everything is freestyle, but that shit you got made up in your head. It's totally different. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, maybe I can show you one day. Boss talk pulled up on a Sunday. Uh, I really get mad. Your wife from Jamaica, she done made the mocktails. Bobo right there, what's up in the back? Let's talk music industry, you know about my racks. Still coming down, used to ride up in the Lexus. He done brought my dog, Big Tony, East Texas. Yeah. Tell him that it's true. I get the job done. Tell him where I'm at, Boss Talk 101. I'm going to tell you, like, it's a um, dude uh, from, the, from the hood named JR. Okay. And um, when he came out there from Louisiana, he'll tell you. Like, he'll tell you. He done said in plenty of interviews, man, I took E to Schoolhouse the first time. You took him? Yeah. He, Will Lee. Will Lee. He'll tell you that. Like, yeah. But when he we met E, like, Cloverland Park was like a horseshoe come from Biden. It was like a dead end. It's open now, Scott. Yeah. It's open. But back then, it was a dead end. So we used to... Hustling on the block. We never hustled at the park. We'll go to the park probably at night just to smoke, drink, you know. Hang out. Um, like I say, we was kids. Of course. But we'll park our slabs on the basketball court. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody, like that's what we was known for. Like, as kids, we all had these black slabs. 
That's hard. On everything black and white. That's hard. Black, white inside of me. I'm talking about, I had an L dog. So you know they had a hard top rivet. Gator had the drop top rivet. Pappy had the pork. Diz had the 88, the 98. Ziggy had the 88. They all had the tornado. And we was That's out. That's hard. Yeah, everybody calls us black and white. They, that set the trends for different hoods to paint their cars one color. Yeah. Biting it black. That we was known for. So y'all set that trend. Yeah. That's hard, man. Yeah. Yeah. And and and, did you, and, and yeah. I see I see you know I think about Slim when you said that yeah. how he painted all them cars one yeah, color. Yeah, Slim got a hell of, hell of a collection. A hell of a collection. That nigga be that nigga stunt hard, man. That nigga yeah. him and Birdman remind me each other what he be doing. No, he gonna bring them cars out. He gonna get in them. He gonna talk. Yeah. Love Slim, man. Love yeah, Slim. I, I, thug. I fuck with Slim, man. Slim, um, he a real one, yeah. Yeah, man. So getting back to it though, when yeah, I so, like I say, the ESG, the first day we met him. Yeah. So Jr. bring him to the park. This day we at the park out. So he he even tripping. He like man, these kids, man, what the fuck they do? <laughs> All they cleaning ass cars, you know? Cause we little, y'all little, but y'all got these we cars. Got to school in the morning, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So that boy just jumped out, had them glasses on. That's when he was snapping the rapper. He got the glasses. Snapping on. the rapper. That nigga just freeze going off the dome, talking about the cars and this. Like, Doing that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Same way he did at our yeah. spot. Hey, I'm telling you, I'm like, okay, yeah, this little dude got something. I'm like, yeah, so that's all. Mm -hmm. And so that's what made you take him over there. Yeah, well, like we, you know, start kicking it because he was in the leans and shit. And one day, boom, let's go to Screw Eyes, man. Went to Screw Eyes. He'll tell you. He'll tell you yourself. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One. Yeah, we gonna talk.